the reason we got into beekeeping is not so much for the honey. We got into it for pollination, for our, for our fruit trees, for our garden and everything. So, and to rebuild the population in this area. So, you know, we look at this as a give and take relationship. Um, we're giving the bees a home and on our property through um, natural weeds and trees, pollen and um, nectar and through our, our apple trees and our fruit trees, we're providing them with good food source um, and a home. In return, we just want to take a little bit of We're thankful that the bees are thriving. We're not giving our bees any antibiotics. We're not treating them for varroa mites or trachea mites. We're not doing anything. We're going 100% natural. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is we're going to keep supers and frames specific to the hive they came off of. We're not, we're going to try to stay away from intermixing. We're small enough. We have the luxury of doing that, but we're going to let nature take its course. Um, we started doing this getting, we got, we just put a video up. We got a, we got a free swarm here in August, two weeks ago. So we've gotten five free swarms this year at $200 a package. That's a thousand dollars in bees we got for free. So we're not trying to commercialize our bees. And, you know, we're doing this, sometimes thinking outside of the box and learning, you know, never doing this is can be more beneficial than having done this for decades or, or following someone who has. I'm not saying that people that do this for a living are doing anything wrong. I'm just saying we're learning as we go. So, you know, I hear so many people out there i talk to local bee supply places and beekeepers oh when you get a swarm you got to feed them sugar water you got to feed them pollen packs you got to you got we haven't done that once and, and we're getting honey from our bees so you know a year after this winter we'll tell a lot but they're all thriving um, we've got one hive that just the queen seems like she's old and slow it's not really building but other than that everything looks great we've seen a few hive beetles and that's it so um, I don't plan, I'm letting nature take its course. Another reason we were getting these, you know, back to why we were getting these bees is, um, A, it's free. It takes a little bit of your time and a little bit of initial investment building the swarm traps. Other than that, we're, we're getting free bees every year. And number two, you're getting a feral swarm, hopefully from the wild, that's resistant to varroa mites, that's resistant to trachea mites and funguses. Um, and that's what we want. So... Um, and, and back to feeding your bees, pollen packs and, and honey, or pollen packs and sugar water. They don't get that opportunity in the wild, so why give it to them now is the way I look at it. You know, the wild nature is about survival of the fittest. If a swarm is weak, it's going to die out. It's not going to perpetuate another swarm that's just as weak or weaker. It's going to die out. The strong survive. So we're letting we're taking the same approach. We're not going to intervene. The strong will survive. We lose some. If there's honey, we'll take it or give it to the others. We'll probably just take it. That's a reward. And we'll, we'll fill those with new swarms next year.